Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times, as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The Little Community's Journey and resilience. Their initiation race served as not only a test of courage, but also a profound cultural expression, creating a unique identity within the broader Kenyan landscape. Lewis and adorned in distinctive regalia, played a crucial role in shaping the social fabric of Lu society. The dispersion of the Lu triggered by internal conflicts among Ikango, Demo, and Jilo unfolded a chapter of sebulation. The Lu narratives traditions. The Southern Lu with roots in fishing, agriculture, and herding communities, established a distinct historical identity. The Garango Luos, once a distinct Bantu ethnic group, underwent a transformative assimilation into Luo culture. Their fusion with Ramaji traditions while retaining elements of Bantu heritage layers to the multifaceted Lu story. The Kizarulo, original ex of Lu migration. The Vadiyamaxalix, the Zikadiyamaxalix. Similarities to the Guzi people found common ground with the Lu through intermarriage and cultural exchange. Despite retaining elements of their identity, the Kizaru exemplify the intricate process of cultural assimilation within the Luo community. The Sarati Luos, connected to the Banyar section of the Abaluya community, and the Imbo Luos, originally a minority in cultural cohesion, Despite historical incidents, Kenya, their settlement on the northeastern shores of Lake Victoria, while not a conquest, reflects a gradual integration marked by both cooperation and tension. As the National Museums of Kenya extend an invitation to celebrate Lua heritage, it beckons all to explore the intricate layers of Lu culture, a testament to Kenya's vibrant cultural mosaic. The Lu history, a testament adaptation, unfolds in seven major sang and major zilang and major region. Initially it got Ramaji, Ramaji Hills, in Yimbo before traversing South Nyanza and North Mara region, Tanzania. The waves of migration, namely Joe Kavani, Joe Kamalo, Luo Abasuba, the Joe Kawango subgroup distinct for its interaction with the Luyas, formed the Tariki ethnic group in the western region before entering Saya. The Grantua Tufluenza influences is Abagusi community, integrated with the Luo through intermarriage, adopting Daluo and becoming part of the broader Luo community. Sarati Luos related to the Banyar section of the Abaluya community, 
arrived in North Mara and Nyanza head of other Luo clans, contributing to the cultural diversity of the region. A minority Bantu speaking group initially inhabited Yimbo, later forming the OG through Hindu the Luo community, the local Tradition. Between these sections highlight a history shaped by migrations, cultural exchanges, and assimilations. The Luo people's ability to maintain unity despite diverse ancestral influences underscores their shared identity and cultural cohesion. In examining Luo linguistic variations, a singular Dalio dialect prevails in Kenya, with minor Dostokan Luo Kalanic and Bantu populations, but in the Luo community, Riji, the single ethnic group embracing diverse ancestry while remaining a cohesive entity. As the Luo history unveils the chapters of their migration, cultural assimilation, and unity, it leaves an indelible mark on Kenya's socio-cultural landscape. The narrative reflects not only the past, but also the enduring spirit that binds the Luo people together, that enrich the countries of the most fascinating in the world. Thing and so economic, political, and cultural activities, each with their own unique stories. Today, communities are officially recognized by the government and are classified into three linguistic groups the Bantu, the Nilotic, and the Cushitic speakers. The National Museums of Kenya holds objects telling the stories of the communities but have been influenced by the changes in society, but have been influenced by the changes in society. The community are the fourth largest ethnic group in Kenya. They speak Dolio, which is part of the Nilotic language group. Known as Ramaji's descendants, the Luo community are in particular known for their musical skills and instruments. Notable Luas include the former Prime Minister of Kenya, Rayla Odinga, the former President of the United States of America, Obama, and the environmental scientist and Nobel Prize winner, Professor Sam Odingo. The Lower Enel settled around Ingo, Tanzania. Other Luo groups are found in Uganda, Congo, Ethiopia, and Sudan. The Luo people's intricate connection to their environment is woven into the fabric of their daily lives. The rich natural resources around Lake Victoria shape their livelihoods, with fishing, hunting, and honey harvesting becoming integral practices. The Modno plant, used to create fishing traps, stands a symbol of resourcefulness, embodying the Lu belief that the trap never goes and that the abundant rain, 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 fire fall. Pastoralism to farming. The Lewis connection to the land extends beyond sustenance. Embracing the spiritual. Sacred sites like Hemko and Hempo, associated with Nyasei, the Creator, reflect a profound reverence for the supernatural. The legend of Luanda Major. A warrior whose body was believed to be made of hard rock encapsulates the mystical dimensions like the Nati, 
The physical experience like the nerdy, the nerdy, entertainment but as conduits for spiritual invocation, rain dances, and healing rituals. The abu, a traditional instrument made of gourds, emanates a deep, resonant sound during significant ceremonies echoing the cultural significance embedded in every note. Ceremonial rites, such as the initiation involving the removal of six front teeth, are more than cultural markers. Their fatty heritage of resilience along the river Vernaz, along the river Nile, Rusalavas, cultural assimilation, the nuances of their origin, from Tikiti to Khartoum, resonant as echoes from a distant past. The Lewis encounter with dark-skinned people